Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm super, super excited to share with you guys the effect plugin that has helped me create super, super like smooth speed ramps. And I'm just actually very excited to use this more and more inside of my daily content on Instagram, on YouTube, on just more of my creative projects, especially when I record with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and record a quick clip using my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And then we're gonna go ahead and hop right into Premiere Pro. But before we do, I wanna let you guys know that this is a paid plugin called RSMB. And it's really, really goaded. It's literally a match made in heaven when you pair it up with speed ramps like it's literally what all of the big creators are using to get like that motion blur inside of premiere pro but before we go ahead and get into that i want you guys to know that my name is chris Bustead and i run the takeover shop where i sell editing assets and presets for content creators just like you links gonna be down in the description but let's go ahead and record this clip real quick so i just finished recording that video so let's go ahead and import the video i literally just filmed this so let's go ahead and drag and drop it i'm gonna go ahead and actually throw a preset on which is actually my preset pack drag and drop the LUT and then we're chilling first things first I'm actually gonna go ahead and create the speed ramps which if you guys don't know how to create speed ramps come on what you doing JK I understand I literally have a hard time with speed ramps still too to this day I still have a hard time so right click on the clip you want to go ahead and drag it up like this right click go to show clip keyframes time remapping speed and you're good to go Yo, real quick before we continue with the tutorial, I want to let you guys know that the Ultimate Solo Creator Bundle is out now. And hands down, this is the best product that I have made. I've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack, so that way I don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks. And through this kit, I was actually able to optimize my workflow, so now I don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content. Like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process, and like I genuinely mean that. I use these presets each and every single day, and they're actually pretty gas. So if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online, go ahead and check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go through the timeline and go to where like I kind of make my first pause, which is right here. I'm going to create a keyframe or I'm going to create a like point right here by hitting P, placing a point, going over, then I move again. So let's go ahead and just maybe create a point right there and then I pause right here make another point. I go ahead and like move right there. So make another point. And then I go right here. I pause, make another point. Then I go again. Okay, I pause and then I kind of start moving right here. And then I move, 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 move. And then I think I slow down and then I do another movement starting right here. And then I pause right there. And I go again <laughs> and then another fast movement. And then I think that's a wraps. Yeah. Okay, we'll call that a wraps right there. So now, once we go ahead and have this, let's go ahead and speed this part up. So this first part, we want it to be fast because it's like just a slow push in. So we speed it up by just dragging up. Let's go ahead and just do like maybe 500%. Oh, that's too slow. Let's go ahead and maybe do like 700. Now let's do a little bit more, maybe a thousand. Yeah. Let's do even faster, just like that, a little slow-mo, and then maybe move this clip over a bit, and then we speed it up, so that way it goes fast right in between, just like so, bing, and fast, go even faster. Then we wanna speed this part up. Actually, even gonna move this keyframe back like that. So I actually went ahead and went through the entire clip and added the speed ramps, and this is sort of what it's looking like just super choppy and just like does not look good like this looks really weird actually so as you can see it's like pretty choppy and the way that we can go ahead and smooth it out is by going over here adding a nice little ramp just like so going through adding that for all of these clips and then once you do that now is the time to actually add the rsmb and the way you add the rsmb is one you actually want to go in the description down below you want to go cop it um, i believe they have a free trial so go ahead and check it out it's really fun to play with so once you go ahead and get it installed you go to the adjustment layer so you go to new item adjustment layer create it hit okay and then drag and drop it and where you want the rsmb like the motion blur you just want to apply it to the regions where it's like sped up okay cool so now that we actually have the adjustment layer on all of the sort of sped up parts of the clip let's go ahead and add our rsmb go to the adjustment layer go to the effects type in rsmb and then i'm going to go to rsmb regular and then drag and drop 
and we're really just looking for something that looks pretty clean like honestly i think this looks actually perfect maybe you even turn up the blur amount to like 0.75 if you turn up the blur amount too too high it's going to make it look very very like warped and just not look right so you want to just be careful of that so let's go ahead and render out this first clip see what it looks like using the i and the o key it i set the in and out points and i just went ahead and hit enter to render this so quick little tip now a quick disclaimer also is that rsmb is very very like heavy on your computer so it's going to take a while to render if you don't have the fastest computer but just a quick little thing the render is actually done so let's go ahead and check it out so as you can see that like already makes such a huge difference even on the tail end of it like this like that looks so crisp dude and like that wasn't even like a good like clip to like really even show it on so that's so cool maybe let's try playing with it and maybe turn it up a little bit higher and just see how that looks oh my gosh bro look at that dude that is so clean bro i love this effect oh baby that's insane that's what you shot on iphone it looks like insane so let's go ahead and just continue adding the effect for all of these adjustment layers and then i'll be back when all of these are added and we'll watch it through all right let's go ahead and play through and see what it looks like It looks kind of scuffed, not gonna lie. <laughs> but honestly, as you guys can see, like this clip was honestly really not a great clip um, to use it on, but you guys can kind of see the general gist of the plugin and like how it actually makes the clips look so, so much better. It's literally just like adding the extra sauce on the edit. So, so anyways, guys, if you guys like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.